What's up, peoples? It's me, Vince Ryder, and welcome back to Vince Talk, where I rant. And this is my therapy. This is me sharing just whatever in my life. And yeah, I got some stuff to talk about. I wasn't thinking of like really doing a Vince Talk. I've been doing so many, but maybe because I have an appetite of ranting a lot. And yeah, it's just one of those days. Can I just say, I wish I had my own place. I really do. I would record, I would make a lot of content, but that's the only excuse. I'm really, really thinking of getting like a like a storage or something for me to record in. Like have a energy unit and pretty much just, you know, run a podcast there and bring my equipment in, bring my PC. And if I do interviews and stuff like that, I'll do it in that freaking storage something. I don't know. I li- like I'm trying to find something like that put it in the backyard like that's been in my mind you know like a recording booth like outside that would be man that'll be life but yeah welcome back this is uh another one of those you know rants chill outs and just whatever it is because as of right now i think last time i recorded i was about to go to galaxy con and yeah I went on Sunday of GalaxyCon, and yeah, for those that don't know, and I didn't make a vlog about it or anything, and there's probably a reason why, is either I didn't really have the best time in GalaxyCon, it wasn't bad, but it was something, but yeah, I went to GalaxyCon in San Jose, it's another convention, they say it's like gonna be in the same level as Comic-Con, and I'm like, when? I don't I don't see it. There's only one area of Artist Alley and it's like half Artist Alley and half of seeing, you know, the the celebrities and voice actors. And there's not a lot of places to eat. There's not a lot to do, actually. And there was not a lot of people, which makes sense because it's Sunday. But wow, this is this this is I paid 50 bucks for this. Okay. (laughs) Uh, we're we're here, and I wasted. Can I just say something? I why did I spend thirty bucks on on cards? I spent thirty bucks on cards. I I'm thinking of releasing that unboxing video or something like that because I did record unboxing and any new product. I pretty much recorded an unboxing just in case, especially for affiliate purposes. But for this one, I I freaking spent thirty bucks on some playing cards that look cool. And there's a part of me where I'm like, why did I do that? So, yeah, I spent a lot of money there. I think I almost spent like, you know, almost like pretty much past $100 at this point. Which for me, as my pay is no good, like like it's not like it's terrible. <laughs> like, I feel like I, there's some aspects of it that I want my money back. Um, the, the convention was so bad that no one had like a plastic bag or anything except for one. Like there was n- not a lot of people that had plastic bags. Also, I forgot to get a shirt. I forgot to buy a shirt in- instead of bought cars. What the heck? And I was alone. My boy Stefan didn't really come with me. And he's usually the person to come with me when, it, when we ever like plan on going to conventions out there. So it is what it is. <laughs> Like, it, it just felt like a waste at some points. But at the same time, it, I wasn't really too big or, you know, I was kind of like nonchalant with the, my experience with it. If anything, I mostly played games at the convention. Like, uh, they had the Alienware warehouse. And pretty much, yeah, I, play, I went there, played some games. The Razor, uh, you know, spot as well, you know, they, you know, they had a good spot there. I was actually planning to get, a, like, a keyboard or something for myself. But I, I guess they didn't have one. But... Yeah, pretty much the gaming aspect, especially I, I they had an Xbox Series X, and they also have like a whole bunch of systems. They got like you know like PlayStation Fives, they got like Switches, they got PCs. So you know it's a good place for gamers to to chill out and have a good time, and that's what I did. I pretty much like you know checked around and just like play some games. They don't have a lot of arcades, but what they do have is like. A couple of PCs and modern systems, and I was just having a field day playing those games. I played some Hi-Fi Rush for the first time. I played some Stray for the first time. I played some games that usually I don't get on my actual, you know, 
uh, on my regular PC, which I wouldn't think would run Hi-Fi Rush, to be honest. But I, at least I got to experience some games that I usually... I also experienced Valorant, but man, that game is so competitive. It is not... It's like the Fortnite effect. How you jump in a game, and you're not that good. And I'm not an FPS shooter at all. I enjoy FPS, but for this one, I really... You really have to be good. You really have to get on your game, basically. But it is what it is. And yeah, pretty much Galaxy Con was a wrap. Also, I did met some of the celebrities, but, you know, I only talked to them. I spent enough money as it is. I wasn't going to spend, like, 40 bucks for a picture. As much as I, you know, and I'm not that much of a big fan or crazy. I guess my tolerance with famous people is sort of like like kind of like anyone else nowadays when it comes to famous folks <laughs> especially ones that i look up to like if i saw terry cruz out there or snoop dogg there was a part of me where i'm like okay oh snap snoop dogg oh terry cruz and also there's a part of me like well of course they're here this is california <laughs> and also like oh hey that's cool um i don't know how i'm gonna get a picture of them but that would be nice you know there's a part of me where i kind of don't want to shout snoop dogg in public if i do see him like like this i would rather respect his privacy or something isn't that what's going on with the whole chappelle roan or something chappelle roan is that her name like everyone's talking about chappelle roan i don't listen you know what i hate is that when people that talk about chappelle roan they they say like oh she's like the head of the lgbt plus community even though she's a straight woman or something like that and me as someone in the lgbt community i'm like who <laughs> who is this chapelle roan uh, uh who chapelle who never heard of her never and i'm being serious why would i care now i heard of her and i'm like oh okay well yeah she's from the midwest so <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, like, what? I don't, what's, what do you want me to say? <laughs> like, if I never heard of her, I've never heard of her, I swear. If I had friends that get mad at me, and they're like, oh, you don't know Chappelle Roan, or somebody from the community, in the LGBT community, like, mad at me because I don't know Chappelle Roan, uh, uh, kick rocks, okay? Because I don't freaking care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm honest here. Okay, do I know Chappelle Roan? Now I do. Because all y'all freaking won't shut up about Chappelle Roan. See, in TikTok, and even kind of funny, like, was talking about, I'm like, what in earth is, what, what is the Pink Pony Club? Anyways, and also I heard the news that she doesn't want this fame and all that, which is like, yeah, I don't blame you. But yeah, pretty much GalaxyCon was fun, sort of. Um, I did meet Christina V, which was nice. Uh, I was planning to show, like, proof of, like, me interviewing her, even though I didn't really take a picture. And I don't really feel like that would be appropriate because it, it would be cool to actually, you know, work with her. <laughs> that would be nice. Just a small interview or something like that, which I kind of did, except that it was just a conversation. I literally told her, like, hey, um, I, I really do wish that I can purchase a picture, but right now I'm broke. And then she was like, it's OK. So, yeah, I could have meet like the one of the cast of the Hell of a Boss. You know, Richard was there. The voice of Moxie. And also, Amelie was there, too. Also, another thing, Exhibit was there. I just... she He wasn't really there, but there was a sign called Exhibit. There was a lot of famous, like, people there. William Shatner was there. Um, some cast from the Star Wars series was there. Some, some Disney, like, princess, like, voice actors was there. Listen, I guarantee you would be, like, a freaking big fan of some of these. But for me, I... I don't know why I was there. I mean, maybe I was, like, looking forward to see some of them. Me and Christina V, you know, the voice of Miraculous Ladybug, and also uh, Ver Verasica, uh, w was pretty cool. And that was, like, an experience that I never... She is beautiful, by the way. And also, yeah, that's all I had. <laughs> I just had a short, like, you know, talk around, talk just, just short conversation. And, yeah, pretty much for conventions that I've been to... Yeah, I don't see a lot of celebs. Just basically, you know, Christina V and also uh, Sunny, which I met at SAC Anime, which I prefer that than freaking GalaxyCon, if I have to be honest. It's more affordable, that's for damn sure. 
man, I don't know what would Stefan do if he was with me. I feel like he would be broke just by the ticket alone. Anyways, um, but I wish I could talk more. There's proof in my Instagram. So if you want to see proof of me going to the freaking convention instead of me working on making a video, um, yeah, just go on my Instagram and check it out for yourself. Okay. But other than that, yeah, uh, some news here. Uh, the DNC has been going on. The Democratic blah, 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 blah thing going. Yeah, that's been... There is like protests on protests during that event. I was like, isn't this the same party that, you know, fight for Palestine, but now people that are like pro-Palestine are part of it? And me as a person that don't know anything about Palestine. Listen, I stand of what I said about Palestine. I don't freaking know. I don't freaking know. What does a Caucasian Asian like me have to do with anything with the freaking palestine thing i don't freaking know man like i swear if i had and there was like i literally remember this one person that was following the channel that got mad at me okay because i don't freaking follow the whole palestine man i don't know bro i don't i'm not jewish and i don't freaking the 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 whole thing with the israel with the palestine and and people were telling me to educate and you know, be educated and stuff like that why though like why why? Like I like I swear, and some of these people are eager to freaking pull a knife and like you oh you better freaking no trust I'll kill you. I'm like chill, chill, bro. Like I got nothing to do with this. Like it's getting serious out there. Like y'all freaking like savages, freaking putting people hostile and like f because we were supposed to talk about Palestine when I don't know freaking anything about it. I, I, like I'm tired of it. Like, like, it's so, it's, it's crazy. It's psycho. And they think that that's, that's okay. I hate that. I will never understand the whole, like, pro-Palestine thing. Like, especially for pro-anything. Like, how about you just educate people instead of freaking putting, like, 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 you know, putting them hostage and, like, forcing them to talk about it when I don't freaking know anything about it. God, I, I will always freaking talk or just, you know, really, you know, tell my truth of just like, hey, listen. This whole Palestine thing. And I'm saying this not to be mean. I don't know. I don't know. Do I look anything close to a semblance of a Middle Eastern? <laughs> no. No, I don't. <laughs> Gosh. Get out of here. Like the closest um, I'm looking like is a freaking like, you know, a, 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 a taku like freaking Hawaiian. I don't know. I, I don't know what, what I really am to, at this point you know as i'm describing what i look like because what, what what do i have to do with anything about this okay what does freaking like a harry potter looking like freaking hawaiian like me it has to do with anything with whatever's happening in the middle east uh i don't know that's like the most random thing like, like that's like you know asking a janitor to freaking do your hair like he works at a hair salon the most randomest things but it is what it is anyways dnc is happening I'm not really of Kamala. There's a part of me where people will criticize me if I do really like cheer for Kamala even a little bit. But at the same time, she's not bad. Way better than Biden. One of the smartest choices that America has made is freaking putting Biden to sleep. Thank God. Because Biden is... is, is, is I don't freaking care. I don't care. The dude's almost like 100 years old. He's almost a centurion at this point. The guy needs to freaking retire. He needs to sleep, damn it. <laughs> he needs to go to bed. You're forcing him? No. And pretty much, I feel like it's a little too late when Kamala came in. And that was the smartest choice to give Kamala the key. Which, in my head, I'm like, isn't she already president? Because, <laughs> you know, Kamala's right now, you know, vice president. I don't know. And also Joe Biden run out. But at the same time, is Joe really still president? Just just let him retire right now for the sake of his life. But I don't know what's going to happen in this election. I'm not even going to be in this country during the election. I'll just be in Italy, just chilling and willing. <laughs> and, you know, the, and also there's a lot of, you know, backlash of the freaking, like, abortion. What is it called? The abortion van? The abortion mo mobile? The, the Baby Crusher Mobile or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot going, like, a lot of conversation of, like, the DNC, you know, pretty much having an in in abortion, like, bus. A bus for, for medical reasons. Even though it's, like, a slaughterhouse, basically. But 
yeah, it's this is what's going on out there. It is like a lot of people talking about the DNC. What's got what what is the Republicans gonna really, you know, respond to with this one? You know, what is Trump like people were criticizing Trump like because there was a Trump rally of Trump having like a freaking lo- of a uh, uh, shield or something like a like a glass window for because you know so he doesn't get shot again. <laughs> And, you know, people were clowning him. And I'm like, how's that funny? <laughs> the guy is trying not to get shot. The thing is, one thing I'm I'm kind of, like, disappointed is that Trump is not freaking wearing a bulletproof vest. That would be freaking cool. That, oh, my goodness. That, would, that wouldn't be. That would be so cool if Trump wear a bulletproof vest and play 50 Cent. <laughs> I don't care about neither candidates, to be honest. But I hope that, hey, whatever happens, happened. There's a part of me where I want to want Kamala to win because, so that Trump doesn't get shot out here. But there's a part of me that want Trump to win because I'm Christian and, uh, you know, I follow the values, you know, that he, you know, president candidate. Kind of, but at the same time, you know, Trump to me is still like sketch. So it's kind of like, I don't, uh, man, I don't even know. I really don't know. Then again, I haven't voted anyone ever in my life, <laughs> you know. Because the thing is, I'm a dual citizen, okay? Philippines and the U.S., those are my two countries that I operate in, you know? And pretty much when I'm in the Philippines, I don't even think of anything in the U.S. But once I'm in the U.S., now I have to worry about some things, which it is what it is. But anyways, DNC is happening. Also, the viral white guy was like, you know, a trend. I was, trying, I was trying to think if that's an act or not. Like, him being a polyamory, like, you know, relationship or whatever? What What is up with that? There's just something not right about being in a polyamory relationship, whatever. Me, as a bi person, looking at that and be like, hmm, I don't, I don't, I don't know about what I feel about this or something. But it's against God. Anyways, let's talk about some stuff in gaming. Because that's what you want to hear. I, I don't I don't know. Gamescom just happened. We're about to get into that. But before that, I was actually doing, you know, I was doing adult things, basically handling business. I was getting my tr- car check and this pretty much this person that was working in the car. I was ha- supposed to wait in this office because, you know, I have to register and all that jazz. And I saw something interesting in his office. He had a one arcade up. I was like, oh, uh, uh, okay, that's cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a picture here anywhere. But yeah, he had a an emulation station, but as an arcade cabinet. And I'm like, as a person that has heavy emulation, because I'm a real gamer, um, I was like impressed because it had a bunch of games. It had a lot of games from the first generation up till the Nintendo Wii. Or PS1. Because there was a lot of games. I think PS2 was in there. I'm not sure. There was the PSP. I think that would be the newest. But there was a lot of games. A lot of neat. There was Neo Geo. There was Dreamcast. There was Sega CD. There was like, you know, the NES, of course. A bunch of Nintendo systems. And I was looking at this. I was like, oh, this is kind of cool, though. Like, I'm looking at it. I'm like, yo... Yo, and they're using Battlestar as, you know, the, the the main, like, stand for, like, emulation itself, you know? Uh, and pretty much I was just playing games and browsing through the whole set. He taught me how, to, like, to use the thing in the cabinet. So I played around and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of, like, worth my time when going there. And good thing I did. I don't know what it is, but there's been so many moments of me of, like, at least being appreciative of my, my sense of gaming as a gamer you know the freaking convention i had a good time there because of the gaming stuff and if the gaming stuff wasn't there i would be bored but and also the freaking like place where to get my car checked uh you know as i was waiting for a smog test hey i was playing some games <laughs> kind of worked my time i wish i was there though i wish they had that actual arcade areas that are still around because you know arcades are still alive but yeah, that was pretty cool. Anyways, let's get into this. Also, Nintendo, uh, yeah, they had a museum. Like, they had a Nintendo, were, Nintendo had their museum, and pretty much it was like a live stream or something. And, and it's, I didn't watch it, 
because I'm like, I'm not even going to Japan. Also, I don't really care. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie me. Yeah. I'm not a Nintendo person. I play Nintendo games. I'm not like a fan. If Mario passed me by like Chappelle Roan, I, I wouldn't care, to be honest. <laughs> uh, that guy looks like Mario. <laughs> and he's saying Yahoo. What? Okay, that's weird. Okay, um, I'll have to go now. <laughs> anyways um yeah gamescom just happened um bunch of cool games was there on the on el and with, featuring jeff Keeley, of course but yeah they had some cool stuff like reanimal which is basically like little nightmares even though little nightmares tree was there and that looks so cool uh monument valley tree i was shocked i was like huh okay okay Okay, Monument Valley Tree. And I there was a lot of Netflix games. It was a lot of criticism of how there's a lot of Netflix games. Um, I'm happy because I have a Netflix account and I get to play these games free. So it's going to be, it's it's awesome. Monument Valley Tree. I was excited. I was like, yo, I enjoy Monument Valley. I really like it. There's a third one. So hey, 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 hey. Um, Masters of Albion looks so dope. I was I really want to play that. That's basically like RTS, you know, like Warcraft or Age of Empires, but you can actually control one of the villagers or one of the fighters and, and possess them to actually, you know, conquer. You know, as a first person mode even. That's pretty cool. Um Squid Game Unleashed, you know, there's a Squid Game out there, so that's cool. Maybe because Squid Game season 2 is coming soon. Uh Black Ops 6 I mean, it looks pretty much, I don't know why I put this here, but there was some talk about Black Ops 6, and I skipped the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't care. Um, uh, Borderlands 4 was announced. Uh, wrong timing, because the movie was bad, but okay. Flutopia. <laughs> what did I put Flutopia here? Maybe it's because it's cute. Lost Records. Yeah, Lost Records was there. I was interested to check it out. People were calling it this and that, but personally to me, like, hey, anything that is th that there's more Life is Strange, at least there's more stuff like this, okay? And pretty much, for day, I'm sure Dustborn didn't count. Listen, I don't know what is this, you know, and by the way, I did see the Secret Level TV series where the guy was crying. He was like, <laughs> what, what do you say? I ever love freak video games. We effing love video games. I, I can't cuss. I don't cuss. But but effing love video games. I'm like, oh, okay, bro. <laughs> and he was emotional and tearing up before announcing the trailer. I'm like, oh, okay. This is kind of a big deal. <laughs> it has to be overwhelming for him for sure. Because I'm like, okay, man, you can show the trailer now. <laughs> um, but man, there was some crazy stuff in there. There was like freaking like God of War. Mega Man was in there. I was like, what? Sifu was in there. Armor Core? I think I saw Armor Core. I'm like, okay, there's some games <laughs> to showcase and show in the love of these of these games. So oh alright. Alright. I like what I see. And of course the freaking award the UN put something in there. I don't know what it is, but it's supposed to be an award and they gave it to Tencent. Listen, China don't care about no freaking like like environmental safety or something like that okay don't give damns about it and here's the thing Here, here's what i will say to bring more proof because a lot of people were saying oh china they don't care about the environment and that's for sure you know why to back it up i went in, during my last days in college was which, which was like you know a few months ago since you know i'm about to graduate soon uh, they, they were basically, you know, like, you know, talking about like, we, we saw documentaries, my biology teacher showed documentaries and this is for, and this class is environmental studies. We study about helping the environment. We went to different locations in the Bay area from the, you know, you know, visiting the Delta and also, you know, doing research of how we're going to help our environment, how we're going to help the fishes. And it was pretty cool. It was fun. And one thing that she talked about is China. 
and expose China because it, when it comes to the fishing market, because we were studying fishing, the freaking, you know, China, when it comes down to the fishing market, they, they're bad at it. They lie about their freaking numbers. That and also Japan, they lie about their, that's like a straight up fact. Also, another thing about China is that they invade other sea locations, like they send their, you know, their fishmen to to like the Atlantis, to the, to the freaking Indian Ocean, to 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 the Philippine Sea, to the freaking Japanese Sea, the territory, to the freaking West Coast oceans close here in the Calabasas, uh, in here like you know in in the coast of where I live in California, and also in the freaking South American like locations as well. They send the mother ships so they can send all the way back to China for more fish. So China has a lot of fish, and because they keep sending more and more ships to other areas that they're not supposed to be so yeah it is rightfully so that freaking china don't give no dams about the environment because they would respect other environments and other reserves they might even like go fishing in freaking areas where they're like it's a safety reserve it's not supposed to be for fishing fishing is is like you know not allowed in this particular area and still china choose to go to those places <laughs> So, yeah, and also just how high populated it is, it makes sense. But at the same time, there's a lot of criticisms when it comes down to the Chinese government. And I I heard about it through Serpent Lee, and especially from my biology class. I was like, I wasn't surprised, but seeing like the results of just like what China does in other countries that they're not allowed to do is so predatory. It is, it's like, and it still goes on. Because we were doing our research for the paper of today's, like, you know, how, how is this affecting right now? And the recent news about it is literally like year last year or a few months ago uh, during that class that I took during the freaking winter. It, it's insane. So, yeah. Yeah, screw China. <laughs> like, I love China at the same time because of their food and culture. But I hate China sometimes because the government and just how... Just overratedly like crazy they are, man. Like, what the heck is going on there? The the sense of freedom for for men my age there is is like it's non-existent. It's 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 a nightmare. Like they even ban people if you were a Christian and if you were like have the Bible and stuff like that. And to me, that doesn't sit very well, especially with China. And I'm like, yeah, no, no, screw China. <laughs> You know, like, I love you, China, but also, I, maybe it's not surprised because I'm American and also especially I'm Filipino. So I have a little bit more hatred with China because, you know, still to this day, they try to freaking invade some of the Philippine islands, which doesn't sit well with me. So, yeah, I don't even know what to think anymore, man. I don't know. I try to, you know, love China, but at the same time, you, you really are making this hard for me, China. Anyways, um, yeah, the whole environment, of course, they got the backlash with that freaking Tencent. But also, hey, Black Mint Wukong is still a dope, dope game, so I would say that. Also, what's up with this controversy going on with Dustborn? Or at least, what's up with Dustborn itself? I knew that people were going to talk about it. And how terrible the game is. And I was freaking right. I was freaking right. Here's the thing. There is a reason why attractive people in gaming are always successful. And then you bring this garbage. Okay? Like, like I get it. Diversity. Yada, yada. And stuff like that. Show us some goodness looks. Okay? And I don't like the argument of like, oh, we're trying to be realistic here. And there might be some arguments like, oh, there's already enough pretty people outside here. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> Especially me looking in the mirror. No, but seriously, like, let's just have some games where we can have some good looking people. So like what you think anime does well or many of these other medias or something like that, models and stuff. Like, like, you know, many models getting opportunities, especially good looking ones. The reason why they got opportunities is because for the obvious reason of them looking good. Because of the ob obvious reason that good looks and basically sells. It does well. And you show Dustborn. 
And no offense to the characters, or no offense to the voice actors, but the first time I saw Dustborn, and this was like a few months ago, I knew that it was going to go bad. Just by looking at it, just by the message, it's political. It's Listen, Mel Gear does p- politics good, but when it comes to this type of politics and freaking Dustborn, it, 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 it sucks. I just I just don't like the message or what it's really trying to say or something. It's just sad to look at, man. It, it's sad to look at. There's other sense of social media or something like that. Oh, sorry. There's other sense of entertainment when it comes to diversity that does well compared to the ones that I don't like. Arcane, in sense of diversity, does well. Shoot, I would even say Q-Force. I got a lot of criticism with the LGBT community. And for me, I kind of enjoyed it it wasn't bad to me you know and it's i don't wouldn't say it's woke or anything but for dustborn oh that's woke (laughs) yeah that's no (laughs) just just no like there's others since when it comes down to lgbt plus or some diversity quota relation related to the freaking entertainment itself that does well but there's some that just really sucks and because in dustborn sits in that freaking circle where it just doesn't do diversity very well from the looks of it and maybe because i don't know what it is like there's some characters when it comes to Vila- Vilago, okay that that with the whole skin pigment that type of uh disease i believe you know, or sickness or whatever you may call it um they're like down to earth there's a character in there that has Vilago, and i like lo- i love her she's amazing you know and she's beautiful but then you show a character that has Vilago and she just she she looks like a truck. <laughs> and I don't know what to really see through her, but I'm like, ugh. Just ugh. Okay, I'm looking at her like what is that? <laughs> but compared to that Vilago character, to to the one in like, you know, Tori Secret, to the one in freaking like Down to Earth that I read that has a actual character that has Vilago, that has a skin pigment, you know? Like, it's like nine day. And these are two characters with Vilagos, but one sucks, which is Dustborn, and one is pretty good. One is done well in freaking, like, down to earth in a webcomic. And I'm a big fan of that character. It's one of my favorites that has Vilago. So you can't come up to me and be like, oh, you don't like characters with Vilago or people that, you know, are diverse or, or... no, no, okay? I knew that something was going to come up and be, you know, just a dump dustbin, like as it should be called when it first came out. And yeah, Dustborn is just one of those. And, and what all these people say, like, oh, are they, they just hating this because it's woke? No, because it, like there's a reason you have to really look into the message or look into what they say. There is some stuff that you might disagree, but there's some stuff that they don't like and that should be their opinion alone. And pretty much with the amount of opinions and from the looks of the amount of players that it has, which is not a lot, the proof is in the pudding. I live by the rule that the proof is in the pudding. If there's proof out there, that's all you need. That's it. Done. Plain and simple. Anyways. Yeah, that's my rant of Dustborn. God. What is that song, man? Where the Dustborn? We're the new corn. I can't say the P word. <laughs> We're the dust born. I'm like, first off, the free. How does a game make the enemies of this game, like, look like protagonists? How does like there's even a trigger, freaking button. There's a trigger button, like you can even say stuff through that trigger button. I kid you not. If you watch it. Like a gameplay of it, it's literally like you put you you click trigger, and it and then the main character says to the officer or something, "You're a racist." It's like wow, this 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 can't be real. <laughs> this has to be a funny. They make this like a game. That's trying to be reminiscent with Borderlands. No, <laughs> no, um, but yeah, Dustborn, the new corn, whatever. Also for the anime news. Nothing. Uh, I know that Citrus Con is going on, and it's an online convention that I've been going in, so that's been fun. Uh, pretty much, I've been having a good time. It's an online convention. It's on Discord, 
And I feel like I could have been more confident within that. Sure, I chatted here and there and stuff, but I kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, though, because it, but it is a BL convention. That's right. You heard it here. A BL convention. It's not big, which reasons why it's online. But also, I don't think it would be allowed in an actual convention itself from the material that uh, <laughs> I've seen. I'm like, oh, oh, boy. But here's the thing. The convention is free. I was trying to promote it in my channel, but none of you are freaking were interested. Maybe because I have mostly kids in this freaking channel. Most of you are minors and I don't have to like like man, what would it be like to have an audience that is my age? You know what I mean? Adults. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment on the jazz. I'll see you when I see you. And that's it for this Vince talk. One love and a peace. God bless.